Joey, the day began with Judge Hannon reading the nine counts in this federal indictment. Villalobos is accused of racketeering, conspiracy to commit racketeering, aiding and abetting, and it took the judge nearly an hour to explain these detailed charges. And at this hour, the jury is deciphering the counts, and it won't be just as easy if deciding if Villalobos is guilty or not. The jury has to evaluate each count one by one and decide if it meets a certain threshold that merits a guilty verdict. This this means that the jury could find Villalobos guilty on some counts and innocent on others. The federal government is asking the jury to convict Villalobos on all counts. And of course, the defense is asking that Villalobos be acquitted. The defense argues that the federal government has presented a case riddled with reasonable doubt. They also told jurors that the prosecution's main witnesses, Abel Limas, Oscar de la Fuente, and Joe Valle, were inconsistent with their testimony and are liars and are only looking out in their best interests. The judge wanted to wrap things up today. However, just about an hour ago, the jury sent him a note asking if they had to come up with a verdict by today. Of course, the judge told them no, but some of them do have conflicts tonight, tomorrow, and Tuesday morning. He told them they have to come up with some kind of schedule. Also, if they want to come back Monday on Memorial Day, he'll have to make special arrangements to open up the courthouse. Of course, we'll keep following the story and keep you posted with the latest. For now in Brownsville, Daisy Barrera, Action for News.